Seamus, so this is the Arizona Aravipa Avocado. Yes. My only question to you is why does it look so good? There's new growth everywhere. Well, the first thing is it's on flood irrigation. Okay. So the water that comes out of this valve here in the ground gives it good river water, a lot of nutrients. In it's the getting water. river water? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Two, this is the perfect microclimate for an avocado. It is here intentionally. It's on the south side of some pine trees. So it gets a lot of winter sun. And in the summer, it gets maybe just an hour or two of some morning sun, late morning sun, and then the rest of the day it's in shade. So all the avocados, we have about seven or eight different varieties planted in this part of the yard, are doing really nice because they have a perfect microclimate. Yeah, the beautiful. microclimate is the difference between life and death for tropical fruit trees out here in Arizona. So this one is doing really nice. You can see how bushy it is, right. how green the, the leaves are. Uh, the tree actually hasn't even been fed since last summer, to be honest wow. with you. It's just been mulch and compost, worm castings, and the river water. Um, but you'll notice here, now the, this tree's been in the ground two years. Mm -hmm. Now the tree is about four years old, but it's been in the ground two years. Okay. So if you see the trunk of the tree where it's been burned, that actually happened the first summer. Okay, so this happened the first Correct. summer? Okay. Because the tree didn't have a lot of foliage, so the trunk was exposed to a little bit more sun. Oh, I see. So that's why when you put shade fabric around your trees, not only do you want to do the top, but you want to do the sides as well. Okay. I've seen many yards where they just have a piece across the top, right. and it's the sides that scorch. So fortunately, this tree lived through that, but that's what can happen. You can see the burn marks that going makes all sense. the way up. Yeah, the yeah it's all the scorching. way up here. Right. But this tree looks fine though. Yeah, it, it okay. took it. You know, avocados are actually fairly tough trees. I've come to find out, I thought they were pretty fragile. Right. But they're pretty tough trees as long as they get water, food, and they get some break from our summer sun. Um, they can take pretty much everything else. I mean, this tree survived through that. Yeah, like this tree is beautiful. You know, if anyone saw that in the nursery for sale, they'd think, oh, it's half dead. I'm not going to buy that tree. Right. But you look at the tree now, you know, the tree is tougher because of it. Because you wish you would have bought this tree. Cause... Oh, yeah. Look, this thing is healthy. Yeah. So river water, making sure your avocados in the right microclimate is uh, really important. For this. And most people don't have access to river water. Right, right. But you want to make sure that you keep the trees hydrated. Good deep water. That's the difference here with flood irrigation. The water gets deep, which encourages the roots to grow deep. So the trees are a little bit more established. So they can take more heat. They can take more cold. That makes sense. Uh, they can take a little bit more drought. The deeper the roots grow, the less babying that they need. So you want to encourage deep root growth. Okay. Well, thank you for showing us how you can successfully have an avocado here. It's beautiful.